Thank you so much, guys, for clicking on my channel. Today, we're making cinnamon rolls. And um, I'm using very, very simple ingredients. Butter, sugar, some yeast, salt, flour, and one egg. I'll link all the ingredients that I've used on the recipe on the description box. So what I'm just doing is I'm just mixing the butter together with the sugar. I'm just beating it a bit with my hand mix. I'm just going to add all the ingredients together and mix them slowly until they are all mixed up. I'm gonna add a bit of vanilla essence, a tablespoon of vanilla essence to taste. This is optional, you can put it or not, depending on your preference and taste. And uh, I'm just gonna go on and mix with my hand mix and make sure all the ingredients are mixed together. Then I proceed to the next step. As I'm also adding some water, three quarter cup water. You can replace the water with milk. I just didn't feel like doing milk today, so I just added water. I'm now adding some yeast into the butter. And um, just stirring it a bit so that it can be incorporated into the mixture and now I'm adding the flour I'm gonna add it in small bits as I miss mix with my spatula just to make sure the butter is well and mixed well I just decided to change the mixing whisk on my hand mix those whisks that I've just changed into they're the best for doing dough My dough is just about ready now. I'm gonna take it out of the bowl and just put it on a wax surface and uh, try and knead it some more with my hands. And uh, once it's done, I'm gonna put it aside to rest so that I give the yeast time to rise and also for the dough to rest and be soft.
been 30 minutes the dough feels soft it's risen a bit not so much and it's ready to be prepared for the next step where i'm gonna spread butter and sprinkle the sugar and cinnamon mixture so it feels very soft to touch which is a good thing because it means the cinnamon rolls will be soft once they're out of the oven cinnamon and sugar mixture I used brown sugar and I mixed it with cinnamon I link all the ingredients on the description box so don't worry about the the recipe I'm adding the mixture on top of the my dough and I'm gonna use my hands to help spread the mixture well and start to roll slowly and carefully so that it doesn't spoil and roll it up and create some kind of a cylinder just be very careful do it slowly and try and 
seal it on the other side so it doesn't come out and doesn't spill the mixture so once it's well secured and inside I'm gonna take a piece of thread that's what I'm going to use to, uh, to cut the cinnamon rolls into small and beautiful pieces what I'll do with a piece of thread I'll try and put it underneath my cinnamon roll then the two ends I'm pulling them across and I pull the two ends and voila very very smooth cut so I'll do that again just look at it carefully and see how it goes you pull the thread underneath with the two sides you cross them and pull there you go very very beautiful cut that's an easy way to cut the cinnamon rolls without unraveling the the rolls There you have it guys, I'm done cutting all my cinnamon rolls and they're ready to go to the oven but I'm gonna put them to rest for about 30 minutes before I can toast them into the oven. Wow, that's how they turned out, my cinnamon rolls. If you enjoyed this recipe, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and family. This is a beautiful recipe that you can try out for tea parties or breakfast or just as a snack. Thank you so much again and God bless you. Let's see you again in my next video. Bye.